Hey y'all, we've got lots of done on the camper. Let's show you what we got. Simple things didn't know I missed. All right, let's put these up. Get these replaced. We're going to start right here with this one, it's the easiest one to see. I think these are all from the 80s original to the camper they all still work but they are dim and they just they don't have the best you know uh, light that comes out of them so we're going to replace them all with some leds with these older campers sometimes i use dual screws which will take a phillips and a square drive um, i'm using a square drive because it works a little bit better on these style you can use a phillips but square drive works better if you can find one See how they're special made? You can take a square or a Phillips drive. These things are held on with what I commonly call scotch locks. Uh, it's kind of like an add a wire system that they used back in the day so they didn't have to cut the wires to add new circuits in so we'll just take those out and we'll repurpose them for the new lights when you disassemble the scotch box the wires come off of uh, this little metal thing and the main body of it's plastic and a lot of people don't know but these things are kind of rebuildable once you get them all taken apart be sure you don't bend the metal tab and you can just reinsert it right here in the top of the scotch lock they come in all different brands but i commonly call them scotch locks because that's the first brand that made them and once it gets back to this stage you can just reuse it for the next round the way these connectors work is one wire passes all the way through them and then the other wire just inserts into the other side and you squeeze them you have to get a pair of pliers they'll stay like that usually with hand tight but you just grab a pair of pliers make sure that both your wires are inserted correctly and just squeeze and that connects your wires and we want to test them before we reinstall them because if they don't work you know you don't want to have to take it apart again hey it works <laughs> and this is some putty and you want to make sure that's there because that keeps it airtight or watertight, I guess. Yeah, watertight. So you got how many more to go? Let's About see. four more. A whole box left. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let him do that and we'll catch back up with you when he gets done. So hold me close. I was going to show you this is the old hot water heater. Take you over and show you the new one. Here's the panel for the old one. Here's the new one. Looks nice and bright and white next to the cream paint, but it works really good. At first, it didn't, but it sat overnight. The propane um, leaked out of the... It must have had an air bubble in there. Okay, yeah, it had an air bubble, that's what he said. So the air bubble was gone by the next morning. It works perfectly, so it looks really good. Let's go see how much space it takes out up under the, um, the benches. It's a lot smaller than the other one. I guess that's okay the mess from all the work he's been doing and this is the controller for the new hot water heater looks pretty nice
I see. 